What? You haven't subscribed to the story, Painter. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. While you're at it, like the video, comment below, and check out the merch in the description. Have a good day and enjoy the video. Uh, it's not there, it's not there. <laughs> you wanna take any longer? Maybe. I'm trying to get the necessary knowledge that we need for this meeting, thank you. Yeah, you come on. Okay, but can we just like <clears throat> hurry this up, please? Oh my gosh. Fine. You know what? Fine. You know what? You know what, Constance? How about you do an un underprepared meeting next time? Because it was done in spontaneity. All right, I'll do it. Okay, why don't you come on up then? Hmm? All right. So, Whoa, once upon a time... Girl! Oh, yeah, that's the all right. Okay, so once upon a time, you know, James's mom and dad love each other very much, and they had this little pee-pee boy. Um, and after that, what? you know, he, he was just so, like... Stupid and small. All right, get off the stage. Get off the stage. Get off the stage. Storytelling, it for real. My eyes. I feel like I'm back in preschool, being read a children's book. Yeah. <laughs> it's all that Constance can read, actually. But regardless, I'm so happy that we're all here in this lovely meeting. Um. Okay. So we're gonna try and get things explained as easy as possible. Um. And try to debrief, uh, especially our our three guests. Uh. I'm guessing. Strawhead was not able to attend. Oh uh, yeah. Sadly. He uh he had some uh sickness or something like that. I think he had hay fever. Yeah. He's British. We live in a farm. Oh, oh he's sorry, British. Guys. Fish got lost again. Oh fish! Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? I think you need to meet someone. Uh have you you saw him at Thanksgiving, but did you say hello? No. Hi. You still owe fish candy. No, I don't. Yeah. It's surprising that you're the only one I can actually, like, remember right off the bat of how obnoxious you are. Yeah, I get that a lot. Yeah. Well, this got nice sad. seeing you again. Uh, hey. How did you survive? Like, I, I don't know. Take a seat. Okay. I'm still lost. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, fish. So Josh is here. He's got three new friends: Strawhead, Bright Eyes, and Hunky. And yeah, we're giving them a debrief of everything that's happened, especially everything that we've found, so, and all of our trauma. Yeah, especially what we found in the yeah. facility, despite someone knocking you off a horse. Yeah, fish is gonna be honest. The past few days, he's had tunnel vision and constant ringing in his head. The horse didn't Look. let him go. That's it not a good thing. He flopped around. I did it. I'm not I mad about I it. Was the I don't regret it. I no. have one arm. Constance is one of our very few team members that we have that's practically unkillable, I think. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I think it's fine then. What? Me, Boppo is going to help me. So, Boppo, what is the first topic we get to talk about to try and bring everyone up to speed? I guess we can talk about the most recent thing, which was the facility we just went to. Okay, so, facility that we went into, for those that don't know. Uh, so, Kate, come to find out that uh, this big structure that was in my old neighborhood actually wasn't a, uh, a, 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 a... A portal to hell. Yeah. That's accurate. Oh, yeah, that. Which, come to think of it, if what Josh said was kind of true would make sense in a way but we'll get into that in a minute but regardless underneath the facility there was a whole bmc holding area um with josh and all of them basically being in it um there was also a lot of corpses <laughs> a lot of them yeah There's a lot of these pods so i don't really know what it is now from what Josh has told us, is that it was this weird kind of like simulation that they were thrown into, and somehow he's alive. I don't know how. I don't, do we have any info on that? Uh, no. That's what I thought. We don't have any info on how he's alive at the moment. But, all I know no, is that- Straight up, he should be dead. Exactly. So, he should be dead right now, but he's not. So, we have to figure that out. Um... So yeah, that was that was, was what was down there. We barely got out after a funny uh, man was going around. So, uh, oh, yeah, speaking of him, uh, in the facility, we're also able to corner him in something that he called the networking room or something like that. Where apparently they can see a lot of stuff, which is kind of interesting. What and else, Bobo? 
Uh, besides that, in the facility itself, besides the um, obvious room you guys were contained in, there was another one that was simply titled Project Hell, which had his name on it. Yep. So basically, if what you're saying, the whole thing you were in was a simulation and all that, that means it probably was the same for you. So we're kind of we're kind of at this point where it's like, hey, you know, some experiences that we've had in the past aren't exactly real, which is awful. Um, so, mm -hmm. Is fish real? Fish, you are yeah. real. It's okay. You are real, boy. Yeah. I've done enough experiments to know. Okay. okay. Alrighty. All right. we're getting darker. We're stating facts, so. Anyway, <laughs> um. Another one we have is we don't exactly know what the BMC is fully planning. Yeah, um, so to kind of give Josh and them a, a rundown, um, they've got this large thing that connects to the void, which is kind of they, interesting. They basically tried making a portal to it. I'm not very happy about that. Oh yeah, that? <laughs> yeah, that was not fun. Yeah, so they have that. Um, and they are currently trying to get pieces to the old remnant extractor. I beg your pardon. Yep. Yep, that is exactly what's happening. Um, from our knowledge, they are moving it through train, but we don't exactly know which locations are where. They're going to a bunch of different warehouses. They probably know we were trying to do something, or they were just being that careful in case we found out. Um, there's a lot of warehouses that were listed, and that from what we found out, even then, they're probably not even just there in the warehouses. It's genuinely confusing, and we have no clue where it could even be. Yeah, so if anyone has any ideas of where our next lead could be, anyone? I mean, I have a suggestion. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Um, what up? Okay. So, you know how, like, if you're doing a business deal, or if you're trying to do, like, some sort of, like, team move, right? That you have to kind of let your partners or your allies know about such a thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. W what are you getting at? Okay, well... Did the BMC have any partners or people like that that would potentially know? Like, who, who are they allied with in this world? Uh... Come on, man. My mind's, Come on. Like, my mind's going blank, all right? There's too much happening. Let's put one and one together. What exactly happened? What happened to the church, James? It's really easy. It's really easy. That's crazy. The Purifier's Vanguard. There yeah. we go. There you go. All right, ding, ding. so if the Purifier's Vanguard is allied with the BMC, then they would have to know about that type of plan in order to execute it, right? Because you can't tell me that they just hired a bunch of lackeys with no other purpose in mind. And who do you have in your disposal that would potentially be a part of that alliance? Hi, Don. Oh my, I'm being put on center stage, aren't I? Yeah. Yep. Do you want to? Yeah. yeah. So, is there anything you'd like to share with us? Share with the class. <laughs> <laughs> you really think you? Hold on, hold on. Let me get this right. You truly think that I? Won't share anything with you. I'll have Steve yell again. I'm gonna start growing immune to it. Do it as much as you want. You you that's what I said a few years ago. That's Fish, what I said a do you have a torture ago. method that you like? Fish has something in mind. He's been wanting to do it for a while. They that's want a... people. Would you like oh, to Oh, trust me. Get, try and get out the information all you want, any way you want. I lose a lot more telling you any of their plans than I do actually not. I'm not gonna lie, waterboarding sounds nice about now. Let's stop. Okay, all right. okay, 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 fish, fish, sit down, sit down. Work. 
Torture ain't gonna work. Hold on. So, is there a mutual beneficial agreement that we could make in order to, you know, make this happen? Well, I suppose there could be if, you know, you guys were actually strong enough to go up against them. We've been in two facilities and haven't died once. And you okay. got captured. Your point. You just caught me lacking. That means nothing. Uh, it means lacking that you easy. are weak and we're stronger than you. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, you kinda, he's, I mean he's factually, kind of. factually, you literally are right. There are literally more of us here, not to mention some of us aren't even human. Listen, yeah. at this point, you might as well, like... I think we're more than capable. No, 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 you guys don't understand. I cannot tell you anything! I, I literally cannot! Who's gonna hear us? You're gonna tell us. Who's gonna hear you? I can't or you die. I'd rather... I would much rather die. Well, there's, oh, no. there's oh, clearly something God. that, you know, would be at risk if you, you know, didn't tell us this information. If I recall, the Purifier's Vanguard has multiple members, right? And <coughs> did you not bring up one time that some of those members were being used by the BMC? No, I don't recall any of that. I don't... I have no idea what you're talking about. You you're really die. just tried to go, nah. -uh. It's she's not gonna, working. She's gonna die either way. Why don't you just tell us? You're more likely to survive if you tell us the information we want. <coughs> yeah, you're in our presence, not the BMCs. <coughs> you can't like be I said, who's gonna hear you? We have a feral hound, basically. You might as well just tell us. Yeah, no, 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 it's not that control. simple. Oh, I'm pretty okay. sure it is. We're in a confined room. And it's just us. I think you're fine. Just tell us. Please. I'll tell you in exchange for something, then. Name it. My sister. Oh. They have my sister and a friend of mine, too, of them. Purifiers, as well. Well, this has got more depressing. <sighs> Thanks, Poppo, for the running commentary. No problem. So, you'll tell us as long as we get your sister and your friend out. <coughs> <coughs> Safely and unscathed. Done. All right. We'll make that deal, and then you're gonna you're gonna write out everything that we need to know about where it would be. How long have they been working on this whole remnant extractor crap? <coughs> remnant extractor, my, that's a thing. Ah, uh, since way before I and my group even joined them. So what? Uh, way uh. I'm not really sure an exact time. Planning this uh, thing for, a while, for a while now. It's even going. Yeah, looks like so. Okay, let me explain this, John. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little confusing. There's this machine called the REM extractor that the BMC has made. Um, you can overload it, and it does massive damage. Um, and also has many worse malicious intent of use. So it's not really good to have it, especially when it's you know, kind of caused this whole mess of the world. I fell asleep because of a bullet for a couple days, and you guys wound it up in a sci-fi movie? It's, it's not yeah. a sci-fi movie. This is real life. You, I mean, you're you know saying... What I, mean. I get that, <laughs> but you're saying that in front of Steve and Fish. Listen, man, they were yeah. already enough as it is. Now I'm hearing there's these, like, teleporters and stuff going on. What? That's what's more surprising. Listen, Listen, I could believe a fish coming to life. Like, at least maybe science did something with that. Like, maybe evolved it. I don't know. But well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't get fish. What, whatever, whatever. Comes down to it. If they get their hands on these remnant extractor pieces, it could launch the equivalent power of a nuke. And again. Again. Oh, God. And that it is was why the we're talking that went off. <laughs> and, uh. you know, it's really hard to put into words. Uh. 
Josh, you know better than most. It is genuinely one of the most horrifying things. There you go. There you have it. If they bring it back, they have pretty much conquered death. This world has gone insane. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, it's gone insane since it blew up. Okay. If it, it kind of was before Touché. that. To be fair, yeah. So, Dawn, we have a deal, right? Of course we do. Okay, well, good. All right, then we'll have to talk about that in a little bit. You'll have to tell us exactly where they're being held and all that. Which, all right. any other points that we need to talk about, Bapo? Any other points? Uh... I don't think so, at least to my knowledge, unless people here want to bring something up. Well, I particularly have something, if it's all right with all of you. It comes down to this. Um, <laughs> we are... We, we, we need to kind of make up a good team of people that are essentially going to be doing the most dangerous missions. Um, trying to hunt these extracted pieces down. We can't bring a super large group at times. We need to divide ourselves. We need to have, like, certain amounts of members in each group. So, I guess you could call it a first strike team, I guess you could say. And I need to know who's going to be in it. I'm in. I'm already here. I mean, I, I don't think I can take part, but if someone could help me along, I could blow stuff up to get our way in. <coughs> Explosions. That'll be an easy in. What do you mean, easy in? Mm. Oh. Well, it is heavily fortified, so you'd probably need a few booms or many. Looks like I'm finally useful. You are! It's <laughs> about oh, time! Yeah. Cool. Yay. I guess I could take him out of the, you know, after he's done his own boom boom, I can, you know, run away with him and stuff. I guess so. Who else is going to be on front lines with me and Requise and Constance? I might come with. I can do it. I'll, I'm in. Awesome. I guess I'll join if there's space. Okay. And if we do that, that would be... I think that would be pretty balanced, I think. All right. So if that's the case, then we're going to have to be the, the front runners. And the rest of everyone here is going to have to constantly keep building up the place that's sustainable. As well as we're going to need weapons. We're going to need fortifications. Because as soon as we start poking them again, they're going to come for us like they did the first time. So, that's the big thing. So, Don, why don't you come on up and we're going to hear from you about how we can start shutting them down. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Home, sweet home. <laughs> Why, hello there, handsome. You're looking beautiful this evening. <laughs> hmm? I wonder who it could be. Hello? Greetings, Mr. Showstopper. How are we this evening? Arthur, I'm doing well. Just got back from a tough situation. You wouldn't believe what happened. We know, sir. We are aware of what took place. You and the personnel were unable to stop not only the Dawnbreakers, but let go of our prized subjects. We're not happy. The lawmakers aren't happy. The director is not happy. Mr. Octa was a specimen of high value, you know that. It was simply an oversight. They had us outgunned. We'll get a Mac and the others. You better. You know what happens if you don't? Disappointments don't settle well with the Sovereign. Gotcha, gotcha. What's the plan then? We're pulling our allies together to end this for good. Uh, in the meantime, we need only the last few pieces of the extractor. Once it's reassembled and the portal is back up, we're good to go. I need you to keep things at bay, and I'll send you one of our inventineers to assist you. Inventineers? One of the doctors? Which one? Rosalind, Mr. Showstopper. 
It's time to rip open a wound that cannot be healed again. That's great! Anything else I should be aware of? Yes. The Sovereign is on his way. You... you mean... The world is about to shift, sir. It's about time it started doing things his way.